Hello, welcome to my channel, Grafted Technology. It's all about tutorials, tips, mobile and reviews. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you do that right now and let's get down to the tutorials. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. We're looking at how to create a metal mesh. First and foremost, what you need to get is the main documents that you really want to, you know, embed. Now I have my main document here, which I call main document, as you can see the title up there. And this is my main document, which doesn't change. So in a merge mill or in a mill merge, what you need is the main document, like what you see here. The next thing that you need is a database that you need to insert merge fields. After that, you now need to merge those two documents, the data source and the main document together, which now becomes the merge mill. So let's hit it. Click on the mailing tab. Now you can, if you look here, it's not activated. None of the buttons are activated in the right, in the right, and insect fields group. So let's go ahead and upload our database. Go to the start mail merge. Click on the select recipients. Now this drop down arrow comes out. If we didn't have a database, we would create a new database from this point. But because we do have a database, so we'll go straight to this one and say, use an existing list. So here we do have this dialog box is out. Next thing I want to do is to look for where I have saved my database and which I have it in downloads. So this is my database. I'll just double click and upload it. You can take note that this place is not activated. That's because we have uploaded our database. So straight out, I'll go to the insect merge field. But before then, place your cursor where you want to insect field merge, merge fields. So there, I want to insect title. Put a space and show you put a space. The next thing I want to put is the first name. The next thing I want to put is the last name of the recipient. Now I have the title, the first name, and the last name. Now I need to put the recipient's address. Address line 1 and address line 2. I have to put suburb. Where does this person stay? And I need to put the postal code. You know, each match field you insect, you go to this button, the postal code. Yeah, so we have the recipient's address now insected. But you can see I have a lot of spaces here. So just move the body test a little bit up so your work looks clean. Now, each place that I have dot, dot, dot here and all of that, I'm going to insect match fields all there here i would like to insect recipient's name the title and the last name so this place i want to insect the post click and say post so where i have dates i want to insect i am deleting those dots i want to insect date and here I have time, I want to insect the time, the match field time. Here, please come to room. I would take up this dot dot and insect the match field room. So you can see our document, we have finished insecting all the match fields. And the next thing we want to do is save this document. You must ensure that you save this document so you at least have a copy. If you have done so, proceed immediately and finish up. Look here where we have the finish group. Click on the finish and merge button. And then you have a drop down, uh, um, a drop down um, dialog box come here. 
what you need to do is you click on this one edit individual documents because we want to send this letter to individual persons now this dialog box is out what you need to do at this point is leave it at all because we want to send again the letter to all the people in the database we earlier uploaded and then click OK. Now you can see immediately we have a new document which is showing us all the merged addresses. So you can see at this point I have a new recipient. If I go to the next page, take note this is Mrs. Brian. If I go to the next page, I have a different name which is Mrs. Sophia. Mr. Z and Miss Jane and their addresses. So you can see each of the pages have taken the names of those that are in the database we did upload. So that's what MedMail is a lot is all about. Remember when we started off, we had just one page document, but when we finished merging our document. We inserted the merge fields and clicked merge and finished. You saw that it took all the names that we have in the database and created personalized letter for each person. So that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Yeah, if you have questions and comments, drop them in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Keep it neat, tight, and see you in the next video.